Hi Jurassic Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Queen Bee from LOL Dolls. So let's get started. To draw Queen Bee, we're going to first start by drawing her face. So I'm going to come right here and draw a really wide bottom of a U. So about right there, we're going to start and come right across nice and wide. So about right here. And do the same thing and connect it. So it's going to be pretty shallow. And connect. There. So we have this nice wide curve in. Then from there we're going to come back to where we started on the edge and draw a big circle. For the eyes. The LOL dolls are all about these huge eyes, right? So let's come right across and do the same thing on the other side. And once again, right on the edge. So now that we have the circles in, let's make them draw so cute eyes. So I'm going to come right in here and draw two small circles for highlights and then a curve at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom. And same thing over here. So thank you Jurassic Cuties for all your love for my LOL dolls drawings. Definitely check out my playlist if you haven't already if you want to draw more of them. And also definitely let me know in the comments below what other LOL dolls you would love me to draw for you. Okay, so now we have the eyes in. Let's come up here and we're going to draw a lash. So it's going to be one thick one right here at the top. So curve it out and thicken it up. And then at the bottom right here, we're just going to add maybe, let's say about three smaller ones. So we just want to make sure we have this one big thick one in. And then same thing over here. One big thick lash and some smaller ones. And then right in between the eyes, let's give her this queen bee here a sweet smile. So say about right here. And draw a curve and cap it off. Oh, <laughs> and then right above her eye, we're going to draw her eyebrow. So their eyebrows are kind of like a teardrop. It's a very elongated teardrop shape. So I'm just going to go in there and shade this in. And same thing over here. So about right here. And shade it in. Okay, so then now we can start to draw her ear. Let's come out right here in the bottom of this area where her eyes are and draw an ear. So draw a curve. And let's come in here with two small curves for some detail. And same thing over here. So kind of where her eyes are. Right here and here. And same thing. Two curves. Then we can start to draw her hair. So let's um let's see here. Let's come above her eyebrow first. And we're gonna draw a curve, say about right here. Let's center this curve right above her eyebrow. This is her bangs. So say about that much. And then we're going to come back in here and just draw small curves going across. So same thing here. Let's bring this up a tiny bit. And about right, about right here. Just draw some curves coming down to frame her face. And then let's come up here and we're going to draw that big curve right here for her bangs. All the way across. 
And what I forgot to do when I drew this curve is to give it some notches. So I should have come in here. I just totally forgot about that. And drawn this and then come right here. And draw on these notches that come in so that it's not so stiff with this curve. Then you can come in here, um, come from the center, and we're going to draw some curves that come down. All coming from the center. So I'll go in there and erase that part right there so there's a little space. Okay, so we have the bangs in. Now let's draw the top of her hair. So let's come about right here and we're just going to draw a bunch of curves all the way around. So we're just going to go all the way around. So you can mix it up sometimes. Sometimes it can be a tiny bit smaller, a little bit bigger. It doesn't really matter. You just want to draw a bunch of curves all the way around. There. Okay, so then now we can go ahead and draw the buns right here on her hair. So about in this area, I'm going to pop out two of these buns. And once again, it's the same thing. Is a bunch of curves. And same thing on the other side. So I'm just going to drag a point across so I know approximately where to start and end on the other side. Okay, so let's do the same thing. And I'm just going to drag another point across approximately. I don't go too high up. Let me come back to right here. And there. Okay, so then now we're done with her head, so let's draw her body. So let's come right here nice and center. Um, I'm going to give her a shoulder right here and here. And then let's imagine where her armpits would be. So say about right here and here. And I'm just going to draw a slight angle line. And let's come back in here and draw a curve for her neckline. And then I'm just going to go ahead and connect this. A little curve. And I'll just bring this up. A sleeveless dress. I'm just going to go ahead and connect that. And then I'm going to pop this part out. I'm going to start her skirt part on both sides. Nice and even. And then we're just going to go ahead and connect it with a bunch of curves. And I'm just kind of slightly sloping up. So then we're going to come down with one more layer coming out and do the same thing. And slope up a little bit and one more layer. Okay, so then now we can go ahead and draw her legs. So about right here in the center, right there. Let's draw a slight curve. And I'm just going to curve this in a little bit and round it off. And connect. So we're in the same thing over here. Just bring in a little curve right there. Then her leg. Pop it out a tiny bit. Curve and connect. So then that's for some details right here for her shoe. Let's draw a curve right here for the sole. Come back up with a curve for the top of the shoe. And then 
right here draw a curve a little curve mound right here and continue and connect it right there now we're just going to add two small curves right here in the center for some detail And if you like, you can come in here and pop this out a tiny bit. There. Okay, so then now her arms, let's come out to about right here where her armpits are. And I'm just having them nice and simple just to her side. And so about right there, I'm going to start with her thumb. And then her fingers. So same thing over here. So I just want to make sure it ends about right there. Thumb and fingers. And that is pretty much it, except now we have some details we need to put on her dress. So she is a queen bee, so that means she has some stripes, right? So let's add one right here and one right here. And then there's one on this part right here. So we're just following the curve of our dress. And I'm going to come in here and shade it in so you can see a little bit better. And then this layer right here in the center, in the middle, is also black. So now she's starting to look like a queen bee, right? <laughs> so when you're coloring her, you can make her look very um, shiny, gold by using colors and dotting them on her hair. Or there's also the plain version where it's just like a solid yellow, golden yellow. So it's all up to you how much uh, detail you want to put on this uh, drawing when you color it. But uh, let's see here, I'm going to curve this a tiny bit more. So it gives it some volume. And I will come in here also, as I promised, to fix my boo-boo on her hair. So I'm just going to use my whiteout pen right here. And like I said, I should have come in here with these little grooves when I, when I just wish my whiteout pen would work. <laughs> Okay, and that is pretty much it now for this Queen Bee from LOL Dolls. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope I made it funny easy for you to follow along with me, and you'll give this a try. Thanks so much for watching, and if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.